Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to show you how to get a audio uh, recorder player on any radio out there. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Hey guys, real quick before we get started today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys, Dirk Noblet, Rich, and Signals Everywhere. These guys are my latest supporters over on Patreon. If you would like to support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. And one other thing, Signals Everywhere runs a fantastic YouTube channel. If you want to know anything SDR related, that's the channel you should subscribe to. All right, on to the video. So if you've been around the channel for very long, you'll know that I use the 857D by Yezu. Uh, absolutely love the radio, but one thing that uh, is missing on it is the ability to record a CQ message and then hit the play button on the radio to get that to play out. So I don't have to sit there and continually call CQ uh, when I'm doing something like uh, working parks on the air or uh, maybe a state CUSO party or something like that. So I, I just got finished up with a Tennessee CUSO party. And before I went out, I got to poking around with a Pi to figure out how I could use the Raspberry Pi to do that. Now, most of the time I'm running digital it's really not a big deal to me. Uh, it's not a feature that I need on the radio. But this particular time, I wanted to work voice since it's something that I don't do a whole lot of. So before I left the house, I figured out how to do this. And I just wanted to share it with you guys today. It's pretty quick, easy, and simple. So what I did is I used my mobile phone uh, to record my CQ message. I've just got an app on the phone. Uh, you can, I'm sure you can find one in the Play Store on uh, uh, iPhone's App Store. Uh, so j I just grabbed something and recorded the CQ message uh, before I left the house. And then what I did, I uh, went ahead and moved that over to the computer and to, to my Mac. Let me be a little bit more specific there. To my Mac computer. Uh, from the Mac, then I transferred it to the Raspberry Pi. Now, real quick to show you how to transfer files, uh, I'm running Real VNC Viewer. So once you're logged in, you can come right up to the top here, and this icon right here is the transfer files. So if you click on that, and then you click send files, it should open up a browser to uh, your, your local hard drive. So we'll just... Uh, choose this draws technical document here and go ahead and click open and that will transfer the file so you can see that it's completed uh, right there so we'll just go ahead and clear that out and close that box and here's that document right here on the desktop so that's the way I got the audio file uh, onto the Raspberry Pi now the Raspberry Pi comes loaded with some software called VLC Media Player. So this is the app that we will use to play the audio file. Then I'm using a Signalink sound card. So I did have to make some adjustments to the Signalink to get everything to play back correctly. Uh, one thing you'll want to adjust is the delay knob. Normally for digital modes, we always keep that off, which is fully counterclockwise. Uh, but in this particular case, we need to dial a little bit of delay into it. And what that does is, is that keeps the radio from dropping out as soon as it hears just a little bit of silence. So it delays that dropout uh, a little bit quicker because the signal link works on Vox. So as soon as it doesn't hear something, it's going to go ahead and release the PTT of the radio. Well, when you're calling CQ, you've got, uh, or, or just speaking into the radio, you've got some pauses naturally in your speech. Uh, and you don't want the radio to drop out. So you'll kind of have to play with that uh, delay setting uh, and, and get that tweaked just to where you need it. The other thing I did was I went ahead and cranked up the transmit level. And I used a extra radio and just listened to that uh, before I left the house to make sure I knew roughly where I wanted that transmit level uh, to be set. Because once you're in the field and you hit this play button, you don't get any uh, feedback, uh, any audible feedback 
uh, for you. So kind of uh, test it before you ever leave the house and make sure that it's set correctly. Then I just made a couple of little notes so that I would know in the future where those needed to be set. All right, so let's get back to this now. Uh, under the audio settings and the audio device, you want to choose your audio codec analog stereo. Okay, so that is the Signalink sound card that we want to use. Now, I'm going to go ahead and swap my rig over to 144.365. And I've also got another radio here that's monitoring that, that I believe you guys will be able to hear uh, when I click and play the file. But let's go ahead and test this out real quick. So we'll double click the uh, file here. Uh, this is the audio test that I created for this video, and we'll see how that sounds. AM4 ACK testing. One, two, three, four, five. KM4 ACK testing. All right, and there it is. That's the way you can record a audio message, uh, you know, calling CQ or whatever you want to do before you head out to your next event. And whether your radio's got that feature or not, as long as you're running the Raspberry Pi, now you have that feature. All right, guys, it was a little shorter than most videos, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.